I know that prevention is now becoming very important in the new framework, but to think about imagination is really good. I think also your question about how we can release more money, that the money might be raised by community and voluntary organisations rather than seeing uh, grants from the council is really important. And I'd like to take an analogy from a cycling project run by a member of Southwark Cyclists, who's a retired professor of physiology. You've got someone with <coughs> enormous expertise who works in Grange Ward, recruiting people into a cycle training, which is offered by Southwark Council for free, telling them about it, leaving rides, lending bicycles, helping out in fixing people's bicycles. And he made an enormous increase in the number of people cycling. Now, he'd like to carry on running that project as a volunteer, and I think there's something about working as a volunteer that makes this an ideal way of working. But how could the council support him? He was fed up putting leaflets through every single door on the council estate in Grange Wall. So, perhaps, as elsewhere, um, the council cleaners could be asked to deliver those leaflets. Sometimes that happens for council communication. Perhaps there's an empty space that could be used to store the pool of bicycles that will be lent out to people. There are lots of ways where the council has resources that can be lent in kind, given in kind, but it's just about brokering that kind of relationship, I think. Okay, we haven't got the money to give you right away. The community council's £20,000 won't, it's great, but it won't go very far in running intensive projects. But what else could the council give in terms of resources, spaces, opportunities? Thank you,